Hi, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today, I think this is going to be a very important video and very interesting video. So I encourage you guys to watch it all the way through. But before I, I, I talk to you about the meaning of life, I want to encourage you to go down to the comment section of any of my videos. For example, in this video uploaded on my channel titled Jim Saw God Through an Open Vision. If you simply scroll down to the comment section, you'll see that I have a long list of evidence for Christianity. So if you're not a Christian and or if you're a skeptic, please read the evidence I present and examine it. If you're a Christian, I also encourage you to read this evidence and please spread the evidence. You can print it out and give it to people or you can post it on social media. Do with it as you please. And now getting on to the, getting on to the meaning of life. So uh, speaking about the meaning of life, which I will get to shortly to what it is or what I think it is. Um, as you may know, I mean, this question or this topic has been debated among like theologians, philosophers, scientists for ages. Some people think that we are here by random chance. Others think that we are we are um, here because God put us here and we are a product of his creation. And I come to the conclusion that the meaning of life for every single person is the same universally for, for all the billions of people living in the world i believe that the meaning of life is the same for all of them i don't know how i know this it could be god has put it on my spirit or i came up with it myself which i don't think i came up with this myself but i but i think that the meaning of life for every single human being in this universe or in this world i should say is to get to know the person of jesus christ and to bring others to him it's to me it's that simple and through god's grace I have come to know the person of Jesus Christ and my life feels satisfied and through God's grace I have brought people to him and my life feels satisfied. Before I was a Christian and during the time that I was in the world, the things of this world will not bring you complete satisfaction like your life won't feel like fulfilled. I mean money, cars, things like that, they might give you like temporary happiness but when it comes to money, I mean, money is just a never-ending cycle of greed. Once you have more, you want more, pretty much. And I haven't, I'm pretty young, so I haven't really experienced too much into the world. But um, to say the least, before I was a Christian, I did experience the world. And the world won't give you complete satisfaction. The world gives you just temporary, temporary happiness. I mean, the word happiness... It, it, if you just break it down, it means happening at the moment, pretty much, right? It's happening in the moment. It's not really joy. Joy, just think of joy as like everlasting, eternal when you have joy. But happiness is just happening in the moment, pretty much. And that's what the things of the world will give you, just temporary happiness that comes and goes. But getting to know Jesus Christ and bringing others to him, I believe that that can bring you complete satisfaction and you'll feel complete, you'll feel fulfilled and you'll feel like God has used you and you'll feel accomplished to say. So if you haven't got to know Jesus Christ and if you haven't brought others to him, I encourage you to start today. I mean, you're missing out on a great deal. So take this video as a word of encouragement from a brother in Christ. And I just thank God for putting it on my spirit to make this video. So this is what I want to talk to you guys about today. Thank you for listening and all glory to God like always.